What's up, Olympic people? Today we're going to be talking about in a violent nature. So stick around. You're afraid of dying. How do you know? You've never tried it before. All right, as I said, in a violent nature, I'm going to give you my thoughts on it. Remaining spoiler free for the most part. I will give a, a warning before I jump into any actual spoilers. Uh, with that said, I thought this movie was dumb. I'm just going to be honest. Everyone else is raving about it, talking about how it's the next horror icon, and this, this, and this. I thought it was fucking boring. Like, I thought it was just dull. I appreciate and I commend them on trying something new with a slasher that follows the antagonist versus the, uh, you know, the characters. Revolutionary idea, but I think there's a reason it wasn't done before. Because it's boring. It's dope. You get... Almost no story development. The only story development you do get is when they break from that. And we cut to the characters. Because obviously we're following the slasher and he doesn't talk. So you get no story development. Almost no character development. Once again, the only time you do is when you hear the characters talk. And the only time you really hear that is when the slasher is walking up on them. So it fails in that regard. Now, cinematically, this is a beautiful movie. Very well shot. It just looks gorgeous. It does. However, that's about all it has going for it, in my opinion, other than, like, two or three innovative kills. That's that's what I got to say about it. It was, it was boring. It was dull. It answers a question that I never asked, which was, I wonder what Jason is doing behind the scenes when he's not killing people. Spoiler alert. He's just fucking walking. That's what this movie is. He kills someone, albeit in a pretty creative way, and then he walks away and the camera follows him. Because of this, you get no suspense for the most part. You get no tension. There's never a moment where, like, I wonder what the killer's going to do next. I wonder where, wonder where the killer is. You don't care about any of the characters, but you never have that tension or suspense because you know right where the killer is. You see him the whole time. You're following him. It's just, it doesn't work for me. Now, once again, everyone else seems to freaking love this movie. So, it's just me, apparently. But I thought this was a slowest of slow burn with zero payoff. It is zero payoff. Like, a slow burn works if you're developing a story. This was not doing that. For me, it was a failed attempt. It was a failed experiment. Uh, everyone else seems to think differently. I found myself, once again, I said it there a second ago, you, you don't care about the characters. We do not find out anything significant about the characters enough to care about them. And you need characters like that to make your movie work, in my opinion. Like, if you don't like any of the characters or want any of them to survive, you're just watching a snuff film. And that's what you were watching with this. It's not scary. It's not suspenseful. It's just a guy walking through the woods... Killing someone, checking their pockets for this necklace, killing someone else. That's what you're getting with this movie. It's exciting at some points when the kill is happening, but for the most part, I'm going to be honest. My, uh, honest, my audience, because I saw this Wednesday, it was an early access screening on Wednesday, we just freaking laughed most of the time. And not because it was like funny or entertaining, because it was just so absurd. The characters, which you don't get to know, make the dumbest decisions... This killer has the loudest fucking footsteps, yet somehow no one can see or hear him, even though we, as the audience following the killer, can very clearly see them. Like, there's very obviously a line of sight between the killer, which the audience is in the perspective of, and the, the you know, coming victim. But somehow they never see him. Uh, they make the dumbest decisions. It's just... it makes no sense once again beautifully shot but uh it was a slow burn and then you know i found myself three quarters of the way asking are we gonna have a final girl and do i give a shit you know do any of these characters matter enough that i want them to survive the answer was yes there's a final girl no i don't care dude couldn't even tell you her name couldn't even tell you her name that's how little she matters to the movie uh then it ends you know what I don't, I'm going to give a spoiler warning. The only thing I'm going to talk about is the ending. But here's your spoiler warning. I'm going to give you about 10 seconds here to, to jump out if you don't want to know how it ends. But uh, 
yeah, overall, before you go, the people who haven't seen it don't want spoilers. Thank you for watching so far. Uh, this is just my opinion on the movie. Everyone else seems to love it, so definitely go check it out. But uh, see you next one if you're, you know, dipping out. If you're okay with spoilers, I'm about to talk to about uh, about to talk about them now. The ending of the movie was even more dull than the rest of the movie. It's just a woman who we just meet at the very end telling the story about her friend's interaction with the bear that obviously is supposed to coordinate, you know, supposed to align with the violent nature, the the main or the the slasher of the movie, it's supposed to align with how they're acting. But you don't care. Like nothing has been set up for you to care about it, you know? It's just like, okay, the only thing you're wondering at this point, because you're no longer following the killer, you're following a character, is like, okay, now, now I get to have the suspense and the tension. When's the killer going to come back out? They don't. When she runs away, that's it. As you saw, if you're here, I assume you don't mind spoilers. She's, she sees that last guy getting killed and she books it out of there. And then you follow her for the rest of the time. And now you're wondering, okay, where's the killer going to come out? Like, he's going to, there's going to be a jump scare. There's been nothing. It's done. It's done. It was, it fell so flat for me. It was just fucking dull. Um, I, I don't know, I don't get it why people love it so much other than the way it looks. Cool, we got a new slasher. As I said before, I commend them on attempting something new. I don't think it worked. It didn't work for me, definitely. For other people, it seems to, but... There you go. There's my feelings on uh, In a Violent Nature. If you've seen it, let me know what you think down in the comments. What do you think went wrong for me? Why didn't I like it? Am I missing something? Let me know down in the comments. Uh, with that, I love you all. Have a great, safe weekend. Oh. I hate goodbyes. <laughs> <laughs> mm.